guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is yasser ahmed so we will continue looking at chapter one from the ictgcc course and chapter one is types and components of a computer system please check out the previous videos we've looked at 1.1 hardware uh, 1.2 main components of a computer system 1.3 which was the operating system we're now going to be looking at uh, desktop computers so desktop computers also known as personal computers uh, are small enough for home use or office use um, the name comes obviously a desktop, so you can place it on a desk for it to be used. Um, desktop computers, PCs normally come with separate additional devices like a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, speakers. Um, obviously, compared to a laptop, all the devices are inbuilt. Um, can be used as a standalone computer at home um, or as part of a network um, in an office environment or in a school. So let's have a quick look here. So desktop computers with many other like other computers will be connected to the internet. Um, so in an office environment, you can have many desktop computers um, in a room, okay? And can all be connected to, together. So desktop computers, as you can see, has many different components. Um, so your laptop, uh, your screen here, your keyboard, your mouse, etc. Um, it, they can be used for gaming and, and ed, entertainment purposes as well. So the advantage of using a desktop computer compared to a laptop computer um, is easier to upgrade the components. So if you want to upgrade your uh, graphics card, if you want to include more RAM, um, obviously have a higher performance CPU for better performance, you can do. So desktop computers, if you are into your gaming, maybe would be the best solution. We also have um, laptop computers, which are probably becoming more popular now because um, they're more portable. Um, so all of these um, devices like a monitor, a keyboard, etc., are built into the laptop. And the main advantage of a laptop computer is that it's more portable or is portable compared to a desktop. And it can connect wirelessly to a network connection. So with a desktop computer, um, it's going to be fixed to one location. Uh, the power source, it will always be plugged in, so there's no uh, chance of the battery um, dying because it's always connected to a power source. With a laptop, since it's portable, we're always going to be uh, walking around. Um, it has a battery source, so it doesn't have to be connected to the mains at all times, but we can also connect um, a cable so we can charge up and use the laptop for as long as we like. So again, it can be used as a standalone, uh, working independently at home. Um, it can be also used for gaming. You can get gaming versions of laptops. Um, it can also be used um, in a network environment, again, to share resources, files, drives, and so on. You have a tablet computer, uh, which are very similar to smartphones, but they tend to have a larger screen. Again, they can connect wirelessly to their network, to the internet. Um, tablets make use of touchscreen technology to select options on the screen. Um, applications can be downloaded and installed, and sensors can be included, um, including speech recognition. Right, so as discussed, um, these tablet devices can connect wirelessly to networks, so there's no need for um, external, um, there's no external devices, and there's no need to have um, cables both PCs, desktop computers will have lots of cables. Um, so you may have trip hazards. Obviously, you wouldn't have it with uh, the tablet computers. Uh, you can also connect to mobile uh, communications as well using 3G, 4G, 5G as well, So which would allow for internet connection on the move. And then we move on to smartphones. So these are now more portable compared to tablet since they're smaller and we can fit them into our pockets again there's no need for additional devices and uh, there's no loose cables and it makes use of touchscreen technology can connect wirelessly to networks to mobile communication using uh, 3g 4g 5g as well this has sensors and cameras as well and both tablets and smartphones just like the other computers have operating systems okay uh, which allow them to run multiple applications at the same time 
So smartphones can use uh, traditional methods to make phone calls and send messages. And obviously smartphones can allow you to use other applications like, uh, you know, uh, GPS to get from one location to another location. Okay, so we've got different uses here. So send and receive emails, for example, browse the internet, use a voice over internet protocol. So that's where you're making a voice call using the internet, uh, streaming museo, uh, music and video content, and communication via social media. Um, and then, as mentioned a minute ago, we can use global positioning GPS to help navigate. Um, and then a phablet is like a smartphone that's a screen size that's larger than a typical smartphone, uh, but smaller than a tablet. So this is basically a, in between a smartphone and a tablet. So not quite as big as a tablet, but not quite as small as a smartphone. So it's in between. And unlike tablets, all tablets have a phone function and a phone number, uh, which makes them phone devices. Okay. So the use is very similar to use um, to a smartphone, but obviously the advantage being you have a larger screen. So if you want to watch something, it's probably better to watch it on a phablet compared to a smartphone. Okay. Right, let's just have a quick look. Um, have a phone function and a phone number, which makes them, which makes them phone devices that have a large screen compared to most common smartphones. Okay. Right, so let's have a look at some advantages. I've already touched upon some of these. So the desktop computer will always be connected to the mains. The monitor can come in many sizes, so you can always get a greater monitor screen um, and it, a bigger screen. So if we're coming back to a desktop computer, uh, this can always be increased to a larger screen, uh, depending on your circumstances, what you need to do. So if you like to be a gamer and you want a larger screen, then that's possible. With laptops, once you purchase your laptop, you can't really get a larger screen. So it can be upgraded and parts are easily replaced. It tends to have a higher specification compared to a laptop um, computer. This advantage to a desktop uh, PC uh, computer, it's not a portable, takes up more desk space. Uh, separate components like keyboards, monitor, mouse would have to be purchased as well. Uh, loose cables, which could be a trip hazard. Um, so mobile computers, so you've got laptops, tablets, and smartphones and phablets. Uh, it's portable due to small size and weight. Battery can be recharged, can connect wirelessly to the internet. No loose cables apart from your uh, cable to charge your battery. However, you have a limited battery life. Laptops are difficult to repair and upgrade as the components are compressed into a small space, as you can see here. Uh, since it's more portable, can be stolen or lost. And some users may find it difficult to use the touchpad as a pointing device. Okay, so I typically, when I use my laptop, I have to always plug into my mouse because um, I find it easier to use compared to a touchpad. The tablet um, computer, um, normally high definition, anti clear display. Again, you can connect wirelessly um, to networks. You can also connect to mobile networks, 3G, 4G, 5, 5G, uh, and also to Bluetooth connections. Data can be backed up and synchronized with other devices. You have touchscreen technology. Battery life is longer than a mobile phone. Okay. However, uh, limited memory compared to laptops. So the performance may not be the same compared to laptops. Maybe it might be expensive to use 3G, 4G, or 5G. Typing on a laptop may be more difficult. So using the touchscreen to type up letters that may be more uh, difficult. And not all files are compatible with uh, tablets. So something that may work on a laptop may not work on a tablet computer. And with a smartphone, they are smaller in size and easy to carry around compared to a laptop and a tablet can be used whilst on the move using the wireless technology, 3G or 4G or 5G, and again, uses touchscreen technology. However, the disadvantage would be smaller screens may make it difficult to read. A battery life is not as so long as a tablet. Can be misplaced or stolen. Um, a limited storage or memory capacity compared to laptops or desktop computers. 
and slower data transfer rates. And phablets uh, has a larger screen size compared to a smartphone, can still be used to make phone calls, but not as portable as a smartphone due to the increase of the screen size. So let's have a look at a typical exam question. So discuss the advantage and disadvantages of using each type of computer. So you can see it's a long um, answer. So let's go ahead and read through this. A desktop computer, PC, is also known, also, let me start again, it's always connected to a power source. So you do not have to worry about the battery running out. In addition, a PC um, is easy to upgrade as individual components can be replaced. Furthermore, the PC tends to have a higher performance compared to a laptop, tablet, and smartphones. However, the PC is not portable and loose cables could be a trip hazard. More desk space is required for the PC and separate components such as a mouse, keyboard would have to be purchased. The main advantage of using a laptop computer is that it's portable and it does not need to be connected to a power source all the time. However, the battery life is limited and would require a regular charge. Some users may find using a touchpad quite difficult to maneuver the pointer on the screen. However, no additional components would have to be purchased as a touchpad, keyboard and screen are built into the monitor, into the, basically the laptop. Um, on the other hand, the laptop could be lost or stolen. The tablet is even more portable than a laptop and tends to have a longer battery life compared to a laptop and smartphone. In addition, it can either connect to the internet wirelessly or via mobile networks. In contrast, the screen is smaller um, on a tablet and maybe more, maybe more difficult to create resources compared to a laptop or PC. So if you think about it, if you wanted to create a, a PowerPoint, a teacher's looking to plan a lesson and they want to create a PowerPoint or worksheet, it probably would be easier to do so on a desktop or a laptop compared to a laptop, uh, compared to a tablet. The smartphone is more portable than a laptop, uh, tablet and like the tablet, can connect to the internet either wirelessly or through mobile networks. The performance and storage of the smartphone will be limited compared to other computers. Some users may also find it difficult as a touchscreen. Um, some users may also find it difficult the touchscreen to use the touchscreen due to a smaller size. So I need to go back and have a look at some of my answers here. They're not making sense. So guys. A heads up for you guys, if you're writing answers out, please go back and read uh, what you've written out because I'm just looking at some of my answers and I think I need to go back and change this, okay? But I think you guys get the idea. So this is a quick question comparing um, the advantage of using each type of computer and you can see the key parts are highlighted in yellow. Um, and then you have another question here, discuss the advantage and disadvantage to a teacher of using a tablet computer instead of another type of computer. So the advantage of using a tablet device in a classroom is that it's more portable than a PC or laptop. The internet can be accessed in most places, either wirelessly or via mobile networks. However, the tablet will have a smaller screen than a monitor or a screen on the laptop. In addition, a tablet is not as portable as a smartphone. On the other hand, specific applications may be used to help the students interact with the lesson on a tablet, you can say. Nevertheless, it may prove more difficult to create worksheets and lesson resources on a tablet compared to using a PC or laptop. And again, some more typical exam questions that you may have for this particular component of chapter one. Again, advantages and disadvantages of using smartphones uh, to a laptop. Okay, so smartphones can access the internet in more places. You are more likely to retain the connection whilst on the move also more likely to have a smartphone um, compared to having a laptop. So pretty much everyone you see these days has a smartphone compared to a laptop. However, websites are displayed on smartphones are not the full versions of the websites. Browsing websites is obviously more difficult on a smaller screen, and it may also be more difficult to navigate the website on the smartphone. Okay, so we're basically comparing a smartphone to a laptop to access the internet. So we need to be specific and talk about the internet. And for uh, users of a smartphone, so you can use the GPS, video calling, social networking, online shopping, online banking. So there's lots of different exam questions um, 
attached to this particular um, component. So I'm not going to go through all of them. So you can have a quick read through of this. You can pause it as you like. Let me just zoom out on here. So use of smartphones to access the internet has increased over 200% in the past five years compared to use of smartphones to access the internet with the use of desktop computers to the access the internet. So it's a similar sort of question that we looked at before. So pause it and have a look at my answer. Okay, guys, please join me in the next video. We're going to be looking at 1.5 emerging technologies. Thank you for your time. Please drop your comments below. Please subscribe and share the channel as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.